Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm filming a video that I've been looking forward to doing ever since even before starting my YouTube channel and that is how to set up a new bullet journal for back to school, for college, for high school, for anything more professional and I, even though I love doing kind of the artsy spreads and doing a lot of different doodles and stuff like that, I feel like for college and for times when you need to be a little bit more practical that sometimes isn't the best so I have developed a whole entire technique and I'm just really excited to show you guys my new journal. It's a green Loitch term that I just got. I think that green reminds me uh, as someone who is an Aries and pretty uh, extroverted to remember to be calm. And I really like the color green. I hope that that brings the type of aura that I want for my junior year at Duke. And if you haven't seen my This Is My Sophomore Year at Duke University video that I made, I will link it here for you to check out. I try to make it super cinematic or at least try to use some new um, editing cuts and tricks and skills that I hadn't used before. So I'm really proud of how it turned out and I would love for you to look at it. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video. Okay, and I'm also going to try something new with this video where I'm going to input a little screen that has my image and I'll be talking through everything that I'm doing inside my bullet journal. I would normally just do a voiceover for this anyway, so I think that this will be interesting to kind of be like those video game players who actually put their image while they're playing the game. It's kind of similar, except we'll be journaling and listening to instrumental BTS songs on the side. So starting off, we have all of these little collages that I've made. I get the pi pictures from Pinterest and then I like to kind of organize them and print them out using a free printing service. I don't remember what it's called, but I will find it and maybe include it in a what's on my iPhone video coming soon. But yeah, these are the, the pictures and I'm picking out the green related ones for the ones that I think will best represent my junior year. I think it's really nice to be able to start off the year and kind of already set a goal, a theme, a kind of a vibe that you want to bring to the new year. And now I'm also organizing the pictures that I printed out. These are from my trip to Banff, Canada, way back in, I want to say like 2014. But basically, I just really like these because they're so beautiful. They remind me of nature and kind of the naturalness and they're all green and blues related. As you can tell, it's kind of the theme of my new journal. So I think that they fit really well and it will remind me to be calm and at peace and serene during this chaotic year of 2020 that we've already had. So now I'm pasting them into the journal. I found that tape is definitely the best to use for this even though um, glue kind of works also but not really with this picture material. I don't know if you know this but I also use some paint samples that you can get from Home Depot. I used to, back when we just bought our house and we're still deciding on the paint colors, we used to go to Home Depot a lot and I would take home a bunch of these colors and this green one called Jungle Vine is one of the only few that we have left so I decided to use it with my bullet journal. I noticed that this image was actually a little bit long so I decided to cut it but instead of throwing it away I noticed it looked pretty well just being offset to the side and overlapping with the jungle line green kind of paint strip that I had so I really liked that look. And now I'm inputting all of the other little images onto the left side. Something that I like to do is always write hey, as you can maybe notice from my 
past journals, I always say Heya, and this is my Hi Junior Year page. I did cursive bubble letters, which are definitely hard, and you have to think ahead, especially for the Y to the E and how it all kind of joins together, but I really like how it turned out. Now we're coloring it in using the Arteza brush pens. And on this side, I'm writing down some of my favorite quotes. I always like to have a quotes page and using some of these nice stickers that are very realistic. The quotes page are just a good way for me to go back to and reference whenever I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed during the hectic schedules I have at school. And then this next page is all about mantras to get me through junior year. I did this for sophomore year and I really liked how it turned out. When I went back and finished writing this, I ended up doing it more like a letter, kind of like Dear Sarah about this is some things I just want to keep, make sure to remember and not forget when I'm getting busy. And this next section is my fall 2020 semester comprehensive overview. It's really helpful to get a bird's eye view of all of the dates that I have. And I noticed while making this that last year I did it from September to December, but since this year the school semester is a little bit different, we'll be going from August and probably ending before Thanksgiving break in November, so I decided not to add a December. But in the monthly overviews that I'm doing right now, I ended up including December. I love doing the brush pens for the month. And the most important page is the important dates that I added. I will end up going back and filling those out later. But now I'm doing my ideal study schedule for the week. This is really helpful, I found, because sometimes I ideally would be able to read the lectures and readings beforehand before going to lecture and then spend maybe the next half hour or one hour of class actually going through the notes and things like that. So that's my ideal study schedule. The next thing I'm making is this hierarchy of needs is what I call it. So basically it's all of the things um, to keep in mind when things do get hectic. Level one is all about self-care and doing the things to make sure you're a functioning human being, which I know even when you get busy, you sometimes will forget. And level two is all about being happy, doing basic things such as going to class and calling home as well as working out. And then level three is the things I'm allowed to think about after I have level one and level two down, which are getting to know my professors, actually um, staying on top of my commitments for clubs and just doing professional things. And here's my final flip through. So I really enjoy how it turned out. I will end up going back and adding to this all throughout the school year. So be sure to subscribe to SC Cupcake where you will get all of the updates and continue to follow along as I enter my junior year. I really hope we get to go back to school. Right now there's a little bit of uncertainty, but even if not, I know that we're just trying to do what's best in terms of student safety and it's gonna be a good semester regardless. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I know that you guys will also have a good school year too. Be safe, stay healthy, and see you later. Bye!